Okay, so in this bowl, I have two thirds cup of warm milk, two thirds cup of warm water. I have one and a half tablespoons of yeast, and I have one tablespoon of sugar. So I'm gonna mix this all up and leave it while I get my dry ingredients ready. And it should be all bubbly and frothy. So while I activate the yeast, and then add the dry ingredients. So mix it, well, I gotta pop all these bubbles with the yeast and everything. So after you mix it all together and leave it, it's gonna be all frothy when I come back. And then I'll add the dry ingredients to make the dough. And if you didn't, I was like. Okay, so I added four cups of flour and a pinch of salt, about an eighth of salt. And I'm just gonna mix it all together. And then, okay, I forgot to show you the bubbles of the yeast, but anyway, I'm gonna mix it all together and then I'm gonna knead it into a ball and I'll come back. Okay, so I've finished kneading the flour. It was smooth until I messed it up, but I poured a little olive oil, kneaded in, and then I poured some, I rubbed some olive oil on top. I'm gonna cover it and put it in a warm place and leave it for about an hour or so, and then I'll come back and roll it out. Yes, guys, I'll make my own pita bread too. You see that pocket right there? Stuff everything you want inside of that pocket. Put it right here. I'm putting some garlic butter on top. For your thing is really okay. So I have my bread that I made, of course. Then I have my grilled chicken. I'm gonna put some lettuce. Just one leaf. Give me one leaf. Yeah. Pull it off. That's it. Thank you. I'm just going to put my lettuce. Just one leaf. I'm going to put my salsa. My mango salsa. and my avocado and my chipotle dressing and that's it wrap it up and we are ready to eat <laughs> 